Great to have you back on The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Just before our first major conversation for today, let's go back in history to share with you uh, certain things that happened on this day. Uh, not long ago, we celebrated Nigeria's independence, but also a couple of days later, on the 7th of October, Nigeria joined the United Nations. Uh, Nigeria was officially endorsed by unanimous votes as a new independent state member. And it became the 99th member of the United Nations on this day. One of the earliest and most significant contributions to the UN was to provide troops for the peacekeeping operations in Congo. And of course, we, we eventually went further into other countries, uh, Liberia, of course, a lot of people will remember that. Um, the United Nations has been a catalytic supporter and trusted partner in the development aspirations of Nigeria. And of course, Nigeria did face multifaceted challenges, which includes uh, humanitarian uh, situations in northeast Nigeria and other internal conflicts and a number of development uh, deficits. And um, of course, every now and then there's also sustainable development goals, which are a global call to end poverty, protect the Earth's environment and climate, and some of all the things that, of course, are commitments from the United Nations that Nigeria as a member state also has to commit to. Um, you know, we can, of course, uh, you know, by ourselves, you know, rate how far we've come with some of these development goals and uh, some of these commitments Nigeria has as a member state of the United Nations and see how far we've gone or how well we've done. But, um, you know, of course, a lot of people might rate the, the country poorly with commitments and with um, its uh, fulfillment of those commitments. But, you know, most important is, you know, to be a part of the whole space and have those conversations. So on this day, on the 7th of October in 1960, Nigeria joined the United Nations and, of course, uh, became a, the 99th member of the body. That's uh, what we have for you today in history. Stay with us. Uh, we're going to be joined by Nicolas Ibeko of Premium Times to share a little bit concerning the Pandora Papers. If you've been following that story, it is a combination of about 600 journalists from across the world that have put together loads and loads of documents, 11.9 million documents uh, put together that s somehow, some way implicates leaders from across the world, uh, businessmen, uh, politicians, presidents, uh, you know, kings, queens, and, and the likes of different countries across the world. Uh, more than 300 of them in Nigeria. There's 10 persons of interest in Nigeria that basically have shown, you know, certain levels of, you know, I, I don't want to call them fraudulent activity uh, because, of course, they haven't been found guilty of anything. But it shows certain, you know, documents that, of course, uh, exposes the financial dealings, seemingly financial dealings of certain persons of interest here in Nigeria and across the world. Nicolas Ibeko will be talking about that when we come back from this short break. Stay with us.